Hi, welcome to Battle Armor. Now that I'm retired, I'm going to spend a little bit more time on the, the hobby end of things. So basically what I've decided to do is take basic hang-long tanks, add a good electronic system, which would be the Bark Benedini and the Hobby King T6A radio, and a good set of gears with bearings. So this particular tank is a stock hang-long with a bearinged up 3 to 1 gear ratio. So it has the speed uh, that a modern tank needs, but the bearings make it nice and smooth and it gives you pretty good uh, low speed control as well. Uh, then the uh, Bark Battle System is a Tamai compatible battle system. Uh, works with Tamai tanks. Uh, it's pretty simple, nothing uh, uh, nothing too exotic about it. It's just keep it simple. It works with Tamai really well and uh, for most guys that's kind of what they're looking for. Now one of the features of the Bark is that you have, you're able to turn off the hull recoil, you can add momentum, and you can turn on and off the super spin. It's your choice. Now, uh, pressing the start button on, a, on one of these tanks is basically full up on the throttle, and uh, that will engage the RX-18 and it goes through its startup sequence. Once you've done that, you can't make changes. So the important thing to do is if you want to make changes to your tank, you do it before you engage the throttle. And uh, this particular tank is set up for a guy that uh, usually uses Tamiya's. So basically the uh, throttle is on the left and the turret controls are on the right. Uh, so basically um, in this particular case if you wanted to turn momentum on, so the tank, the radio is turned on, the tank is turned on, it hasn't uh, been started up yet, it's just sitting there waiting for user inputs. So basically if you wanted to turn momentum on, you would go full up on the uh, turret channel and you can see the uh, TBU lights up letting you know it's accepted that. So that would turn momentum on. To turn momentum off, you go full down. Again it lights up and it tells you, okay, you've got the momentum off. I personally like to have momentum on. It gives a very little momentum. Uh, it stops the uh, jerky reverse and forward and it's light momentum so basically to cancel it you just go backward, backwards on the throttle stick and it'll negate the momentum so you don't have this tank running away on you. As well it also smooth, smooths out the speed steps on the RX-18 by adding momentum. It just basically instead of having you know 16 distinct speeds it, it basically graduates through all of those. Uh, so that just makes the tank that much nicer to run. And super spin on or off, basically if you go full right, it's super spin on. Again, the TBU lights up to let you know that it's accepted that. Or if you want super spin off, you go full left. So typically I run my tanks momentum on, super spin off. So once you've done that, the TBA TBU goes out, that's set on the chip, that that's the way it's set. You don't have to do this each time, you only have to do it once. So next time you want to use this tank, if you just go straight up to start the tank on the throttle channel, the tank will start up and it'll lock those, it'll, this, or when you go full up on the throttle channel, it'll lock those in and you don't have to do it next time. Next time you start this tank up, you just go full up and the tank will start. tank off but you still have uh, the turret still can move and then the barrel is it's a servo on this fifth channel and it's just controlled by this knob and it just stays in place wherever you want it so it's in independent control of the uh, cannon to fire the cannon it's to the top left corner 
and basically it's got a servo recoil as well. Machine gun is in the top right corner. Bottom right is the headlights on and off, so you can turn those on and off. And again, the start stop is on this quarter. So that's the basic controls, there's nothing too complicated about it. You have a tank with momentum, independent uh, control of the barrel. up on a stand just so I can uh, show the, uh, or hear, you can hear the engine sounds about the tank taking off. So it's a very easy system, it's a very capable uh, tank uh, with the 2.4 gigahertz hobby grade radio. It allows you to add on other things if you wanted to, other servo devices uh, uh, into it if, if you require it, although basically you don't really need anything. Uh, it's all there ready to go and again it's very simple, there's not a whole bunch of complex uh, programming to do once it's set up. Uh, basically you turn the tank on. Uh, and you've just got these four corners to worry about, uh, Canon, MG, turning the tank on and off and turning the lights on and off. Uh, the Benedini does allow you to do more if you want to, uh, but then again that's kind of user definable and uh, I am not going to get into that when I sell tanks. Basically I'm just going to provide a, a base tank like this that's fully functioning, um, to my compatible, battle ready. Uh, and with the, the gears in it and the modifications made, it'll be a capable battler. Uh, I think people are kind of looking for that, especially newbies starting out. Uh, a lot of the electronics is quite complex and of course they follow along in the forums and they read horror stories of people having difficulty getting set up and electronics is not everybody's uh, cup of tea so I understand where people are coming from. So my goal here is to be a shop that supplies the basic hang on and all this electronic stuff is done for you. You have a good running tank and I leave all the detailing and all the fun stuff up to you. you guys can personalize the tank but the basic chassis and uh, control system in it is solid and it works and you don't have to pull your hair out trying to figure things out. And again it's fairly simple which I think most guys want. I don't think uh, guys want to be a computer programmer out on the field. They want to turn their tanks on, they want to go out and have some fun and shoot somebody up and then uh, call her a day without uh, getting into a whole bunch of uh, other battle scenarios. I just think it's kind of like herding cats from what I've witnessed myself on the field. Uh, it gets too complex and you, by the time you get it all figured out it's time to go home. 
So this is a simple Tamiya compatible tank that will work fine with all Tamiya clubs and all Tamiya tanks. It will fit in uh, you know, with a Tamiya TBU on the top. Uh, people won't even notice that it's not a Tamiya other than it sounds better. So uh, that's what Battle Armor is going to be offering in the future. This is the first tank uh, I've done for somebody. Uh, again, I'm retired, so these are things that I'm probably going to build them and then offer them for sale versus uh, taking orders just because, uh, again, I'm retired and I don't want the business to spoil my enjoyment of the hobby. I love building these things. I love putting electronics in them. And myself, I've got about, I don't know, what is i got on the shelf here, probably... Uh, 30 tanks and I just don't need any more but I still want to enjoy them so uh, I want to build them and ship them out the door to other guys so they can enjoy it as well. So thanks for watching. It's a pretty long video. I apologize. Uh, I know I try to keep videos less than two minutes. I went over on this one but I did want to demonstrate uh, what Battle Armor is doing and just a little bit about how the uh, Bark system works uh, with, the, with the Benedini TBS. A lot of people have questions about it. Don't really know how they all work together, what does what. So I just thought I'd throw a little video showing you how easy it is to program, turn the super spin off, add the momentum, and then again, the four corners of the, or the, of the turret control stick are what uh, your Canon MG, turn the tank on and off, and turn the lights on and off. Really simple. Uh, and of course the direction is just this other stick. Uh, up. Up for forward, down for reverse, left and right. Uh, doesn't get much simpler than that. So thank you for watching. Uh, please email me if you have any interest in these. And then I'll try to determine at what rate of speed I'm going to be putting these tanks out. So again, thanks.